Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to the channel as the case may be. We are continuing our 1001 tarot spreads. This time it is posing the question, I know there's an inevitable change. How do I ensure the best possible result? It's going to be a three card reading, and we are continuing with the Chromatic Fates tarot. Let's get into it. So when should you use a spread like this? It's when you've become aware that there is something that a change is coming, you can't avoid it, so how do you make the best of it? Card number one is going to be the best possible outcome. Card number two is absolute catastrophe. What is the worst outcome of this change? Card number three is how do I mitigate negative effects of this change? So we're going to shuffle our deck and we will see what the chromatic fates have to tell us. My goodness, I just love the sounds this deck makes when it's shuffled. The cards are beautiful. Very high quality. And I'm not being paid to say that. I bought this myself because I... I saw it and immediately fell in love. So card number one, best possible outcome. The star. Worst possible outcome. The nine of wands. How do we mitigate it? Oh, um, the star is reversed. The nine of wands is upright. And card number three, how do we mitigate the damage is uh, nine of coins reversed. Alrighty, so the star was drawn by Philip Byers. It is reversed. Best possible outcome is have a realistic view of it. The star typically represents hopes, aspirations. Shooting for the stars. Best possible outcome is a lot more realistic. You're not going to get everything you want. But it is possible to get what you need. Card number two. For worst possible outcome is the nine of wands drawn by Sam Goss is upright. So there's something interesting going on here, because typically when you hear best outcome, worst outcome, and the best outcome is something being more moderate, or realistic, and the worst outcome is the Nine of Wands, which is perseverance, the worst outcome is that it might take longer than you want. That's really not that bad of an outcome. It's keep going. Card number three, which is the how do we mitigate the damage, is the nine of coins reversed, which was drawn by Rachel Bradley. So here's what that looks like. The nine of coins typically represents being rewarded at the end of something. To avoid a negative outcome, don't celebrate too soon. Make sure everything's actually done. Don't reward yourself before you have completed the task. Before the change has finished. That being said, we've come to the end of our reading of number 35. How to achieve the best possible outcome. I am hoping you've been enjoying these. If you have, please leave a like, a comment, or subscribe if you really enjoyed it. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.